creation and history of the Albufera. The origins of the Albufera Lake date back to over one million years ago. It was formed when a marine gulf was blocked by a large strip of coastline. The mountains surrounding this gulf gradually eroded and the rivers, especially the Turia, as well as numerous ravines, released sediment into the sea. The sea currents deposited the sediment near the coast, creating a sandbar that rose up above sea level. The dunes and vegetation that we can see today grew on this sandbar. The Albufera thus became isolated and its connection to the sea was reduced to a single inlet or canal. At that time, the lake spanned the area of the entire nature reserve, covering some 30,000 hectares. The Romans and Muslims have left traces of their admiration of the beauty of the lake and its surroundings. But the first clear references to the lake are not found until James I conquered Valencia in 1238 and claimed the property of the Albufera and the Devesa forest for himself. Two centuries later, the crown also granted privileges on the goods produced in Albufera to the church, to the city chapter, and to local fishermen and inhabitants. Mainly, these goods were salt, fish, and game. The salt water lake was connected to the sea by a natural inlet that remained in existence until the early 18th century. However, rice farming gradually took over. Large amounts of fresh water reached the area through the Royal Canal from the Hukar River, which led to the expansion of this crop and the lake was reduced in size because of the earth dams built for planting rice. During this period, the lake and the Devesa forest changed hands several times, owned intermittently by the royal family and the state, and vice versa. However, in 1927, King Alfonso XIII gave the Albufera to the Valencia City Council in exchange for just over one million pesetas. By that time, the lake had decreased from its original size by over 90% to 3,114 hectares.